इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग कैटिस कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर वेलकम टू द कोर्स इन ऑटोमोटिव इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द कॉम्प्रेशन इग्निशन इंजन दैट इज सी आई इंजन दीज आर द ब्रॉडर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी सीन इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर्स that is automotive basics ev mechanism sensors and actuators automotive safety standards on board and off board diagnostics then lesson number 3 is a uh, compression ignition engine the objectives are understanding the operation of ci engines application of ci engines and examples of ci engines uh, this is the outline of today's discussion uh, introduction of ci engine then pv diagram working of ci engine and the post stroke operation of ci engine now this is the introduction of uh, compression ignition engine so in case of ci engine uh, it has uh, no carburetor and no spark plug so this is the main feature or we can say this is the speciality of a ci engine it doesn't require carburetor and spark plug uh, but it has a fuel injector okay so this is the uh, important difference between si engine and ci engine so this engine works on the principle of a diesel engine Uh, ci engine also has the four strokes in one complete burning cycle uh, this is pressure volume diagram for uh, ci engine on x axis there is a volume and uh, y axis there is a pressure okay uh, here the diagram consisting of all four stroke operation uh there are figures if you observe the figure then there are some numbers uh if you see uh, 0 to 1 there is a straight line uh, from the vertical axis so 0 to 1 operation is nothing but uh this is the intake stroke so in this particular stroke the air is taken air alone is taken inside the cylinder this is very very important in case of si engines we are taking air and fuel but in case of ci engines we are taking air alone during the intake stroke so 0 to 1 is nothing but the intake stroke then once the air is taken inside the cylinder then we are compressing the air that is piston is moving from Uh, bdc to tdc and once the air is compressed then at the end of compression stroke the fuel is injected inside the cylinder and a high amount of pressure is built also high amount of temperature is there and due to this the mixture is ignited uh, without the spark plug and due to ignition the high amount of pressure is created on the piston and piston moves in downward direction the 1 to 2 is the compression cycle then 2 to 3 Uh, here the piston remains at the same position that is that is top dead center tdc and once the mixture of air and fuel is ignited then uh, high amount of pressure is created then piston moves in downward direction that is nothing but uh, 3 to 4 during 3 to 4 the piston comes in downward direction and then the burn gases 
they are taken out in the exhaust cycle that is 4 to 1 okay so in this way the pv diagram works then this is the first stroke that is intake stroke uh, here the inlet wall is open and only air is taken inside and this is nothing but the process 0 to 1 on the PV diagram. Okay. So, here only inlet wall is open and a air is taken inside the cylinder and the piston position is at the BDC that is bottom dead center. Uh, this is the operation during the intake stroke. The piston is about to move from uh, top dead center TDC to bottom dead center BDC. The inlet wall is open and the exhaust wall is closed. In CI engine, air is alone drawn into the cylinder. This is very, very important point as compared to SI engines. Only air is taken inside the cylinder the pressure remains constant during the process then once the air is taken inside the cylinder then inlet wall is closed completely then piston moving from uh, bdc to tdc this is the process uh, one to two from the pv diagram both uh, intake and exhaust wall is closed the piston moves from bdc to tdc the previously drawn air inside the cylinder is then compressed for ci engines the compression ratio is from uh, 16 to 20 and the fuel is injected into the cylinder at the end of compression stroke so uh, here the fuel is inserted after the completion of compression stroke. Okay. The temperature at the end of compression is very high, very high enough to self ignite the fuel. So, due to the increased temperature uh, inside the cylinder, the fuel is self ignited. So, this is the power stroke the mixture is ignited high amount of pressure is created in downward direction therefore the piston is forced in downward direction and the mechanical energy is generated here again uh, both the walls are closed inlet and exhaust so both inlet and exhaust walls are remain closed in this state when the piston is moving from TDC to BDC, the fuel is injected in such a way that uh, combustion maintains the constant pressure uh, inside the cylinder while volume increase that is process 2 to 3 from PV diagram. After the complete injection of fuel, the pressure decreases as the volume increase the process 3 to 4 from the PV diagram and at the end of this stroke the exhaust wall opens and pressure reduces to atmospheric. Then the last stroke exhaust stroke the process is 5 to 1 on the PV diagram. So, here the exhaust wall is open, the piston travels from BDC to TDC and expels the burn gases from the cylinder. So, whatever burn gases are there, those are taken out via the exhaust wall. So, reflection spot. So, there is one question. Uh, the above four stroke collectively form a cycle known as uh, four stroke cycle. Uh, 
which is used in most of the modern IC engines. Uh, now just pause the video and think on how many spark plugs are present in CI engines. Pause the video and think on the question. The answer is uh, in CI engines uh, there is no spark plug as we have already seen the operation of CI engine. It does not require the spark plug and here is the detailed answer. Uh, you might have thought on uh, various options such as a single spark plug, two spark plugs and four spark plugs etc. But the correct answer is no spark plug. CI engine uh, does not require spark plug because temperature at the end of compression is very high enough to self ignite the fuel. So, this is the correct answer of the question asked in previous slide. Then this is the summary of this particular lecture. CI engines does not require spark plug for its operation. CI engine have four strokes to convert chemical energy to mechanical energy which is then coupled to the wheels of a car and car starts moving. Uh, this is the end of lesson number 3. In lesson number 4, you are going to study engine components then comparison of CI and SI engines. Thank you very much.